In today's episode, we're gonna make a classic Champs-Élysées, this amazing cognac cocktail with green chartreuse, but we're also gonna try one not so classic using yellow chartreuse instead of the green and see which one is the best. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So the Champs-Élysées, this oh so delicious cocktail. Oh so, oh Champs-Élysées, see me coming? <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> so this delicious cocktail with cognac and green chartreuse lemon juice, angostura bitters and a hint of sugar. The history of this cocktail is actually quite fascinating. For a long time, the creation of the recipe was associated to Harry Craddock, who published the Savoy Cocktail Book in 1930. And for a long time, we thought this was the oldest mention of the Champs-Élysées in a cocktail book. But we recently found out that there was one book older with a mention of the Champs-Élysées published in 1917. And even in that book back then, there was no mention of the creator. So we know for sure that we don't know who created the cocktail, but we also know that it is a delicious one. One more thing that I know is a lot of bartenders like to use yellow chartreuse instead of the green one, going a little bit outside of the classic way. So I thought it would be fun today to test them side by side and see if one is better than the other one. So we're gonna start by pouring two ounces of cognac into a cocktail shaker. We're gonna make both side by side, so two ounces in each shaker. Now in the left one, we're gonna add half an ounce of green chartreuse. And in the other one, half an ounce of yellow chartreuse. Then we're gonna add a quarter ounce of simple syrup in each cocktail. one dash of Angostura bitters, and three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm gonna fill our shakers with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. So now we can fine strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. And then garnish with a lemon zest. Just like that, so now let's give it a try. I'm gonna start with the green chartreuse one. Hmm. I'm used to that one and I love it. By the way guys, Sephra asked me why I was starting with the cocktail with the green chartreuse instead of the one with the yellow. Even though the yellow is maybe sweeter, not maybe is sweeter than the green one, uh, but actually not as powerful as the green one. I think this will yield, we will soon find out, but this will yield a drier cocktail because it is not as sweet, even though the green chartreuse is more powerful in alcohol and in botanicals, it will be drier. So starting by this one will make like a perfect sequel for the second one that would be a little sweeter because if I would do the other way around, this one will feel unbalanced afterward because this one will probably 
be sweeter what we're gonna see in a few seconds. That being said, uh, I need another sip. <laughs> because it's delicious. It's a great riff on a sidecar. If you don't know what a sidecar is, I've made one before, I'm gonna link it up here. Uh, it's just like super refreshing. There's a beautiful lemon and fresh nose when you bring the cocktail to your nose, to your mouth actually, because you don't sip with your nose, that would be weird. Um, and then all the botanicals and the strength from the chartreuse just adds a lot of complexity. It is beautiful, almost a little bit bitter because of the botanicals and how dry it becomes and with the Angostura bitters also adds all the complexity to quinine. So it has a little slightly bitter finish, but it's very well balanced, sweet, sour, and powerful. So if you like bold drinks, but still refreshing, this is a great pick for you. I love it. Mm. Yep. So now, can, can you guys notice that I'm not left-handed? I have a hard time to take this. Now let's try the one with the yellow chartreuse. Nose is similar. That's probably because of all the lemon oil that is floating on top. It smells really good. It is also a delicious cocktail. I understand why a lot of people use yellow chartreuse instead of green one, but I think the classic version is better. Why? Because yellow chartreuse is mainly, not mainly, but some of the most dominant flavors in the yellow chartreuse is vanilla and saffron. It goes really well with cognac, no doubt, but it easily gets kind of overpowering in the cocktail, while all the other botanicals of the green chartreuse are kind of contrasting with the flavor of the cognac that makes for a more complex cocktail, yet very balanced. This is really good, but it's really vanilla flavored uh, it's good, but if you like the classic and complex Champs-Élysées, stick to the green chartreuse. And if you want to have something different, then go with the yellow one. You won't be disappointed, just different. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Soon? next Friday, where I'm going to make uh, Champs-Élysées truffles in the rocks way. So don't miss it. Cheers, guys.